Who is our Lord and Savior? If you guessed Jesus Christ, you'd be correct. Now, if Jesus can heal a man who was possessed by the devil, like he did in Matthew chapter 8, or heal a man who had palsy, like he did in Matthew chapter 9, he can heal the things that you have. The burdens that you have and you carry, he can take those from you, and you can, he can heal you of those things. Jesus didn't come to this world to judge us. He came to this world to save us. And if you don't believe me, check out John chapter 12, verse uh, 47. Jesus is who protects you. And if you don't believe me, well, take a look who died on the cross for you, for your sins, to protect you from going to hell. It was Jesus. Some people in this life are very unforgiving. And when people don't forgive you of things you might have done in the past, there's at least one person who will, and his name is Jesus. So whenever you find some off time in your day, when you're not doing anything, get into the Word. Read about the things He's done for people, who He's healed, who He's saved, because He saved so many people from going to hell. And He can do the same for you too. Somewhere in the book of uh, Mark, early on in the first chapter, I think it was, He went into the wilderness for 40 days after His baptism. And He was tempted by the devil throughout those 40 days. And Jesus was so strong, he didn't fall into the trap that the devil set for him through temptation. With what I just said right there, that is a clear-cut sign that when you face temptation that comes from the devil, to lean on Jesus for strength, because he is our strength. Jesus will strengthen you because he loves you unconditionally, and he doesn't want to see you fall. Kind of like when uh, Peter, he was walking on water, but then he got scared. So Jesus reached his hand out to him to help him, to give him strength by pulling him up, right? Jesus loves you so much that he'll strengthen you to make it through the challenge that's ahead of you. He strengthens you because he loves you unconditionally, even in times when you don't feel the love that he has to give you or when you don't believe or you're just doubted that he doesn't have love for you because he always has love and it's always unconditional. When you open your heart fully to Lord Jesus, so many amazing things can happen. So if you're on the fence about that, take the step to fully open your heart to Lord Jesus, to let him come in and do the healing work for you, to help you, to strengthen you, to show you his unconditional love, because that's something that you'll never, ever regret, is opening your heart fully to Lord Jesus. And I hope this short little message that I had to bring to you today blesses you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.